All right, looks like we got some excited young people here tonight. Thank you so much for joining us either here on campus or if you're joining us um, through Facebook Live, we sure appreciate you you doing that. Let's all stand. We're excited for tonight and what the Lord has um, in store for us and for these little ones. All right, we're going to sing page 166, all five verses of We Three Kings. Page 166, We Three Kings. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar Field and mountain more Mountain following yonder star Oh, star of wonder, star of night Star with royal beauty bright Westward leading still proceeding Guide us to thy perfect light born a king on Bethlehem's plain gold I bring to crown him again king forever ceasing never over us all to reign oh star of wonder star of night star with royal beauty bright westward leaning still proceeding guide us to thy perfect light on third frankincense to offer have i incense owns a deity nigh prayer and praising all men raising worship him god on high oh star of wonder star of night star with royal beauty bright westward Proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light on that fourth. Myrrh is mine, its bitter perfume breathes a life of gathering gloom, sorrowing, sighing, bleeding, dying, sealed in stone cold tomb. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright. Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. On that last verse, glorious now, behold him arise, King and God in sacrifice. Alleluia, alleluia, earth to heaven replies. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, Star with royal beauty bright, westward leaning still proceed, guide us to thy perfect light. Amen. I love that song, how it tells a story. If you notice, all three song, I mean, all five verses tells the story of the, um, when the three kings came. Amen. At this time, we're going to be open in prayer. I'm going to ask Miss Ava Grace to come on over here, and she's going to open us in prayer since we have our um, kids' night tonight, and so she's going to open us in prayer this evening. God, thank you for this day, and God, thank you for everything that you did, and God, thank you for the food and vegetables, and thank you for the Christian school and Christian church, and thank you for the crops that we could eat, and Jesus, may I pray, amen. Amen. Thank you very, very much. All right. Page 145. I'm, I'm going to say something, Paul. I don't think I've ever blessed my, my vegetables before. My goodness. I need to start doing that. Maybe I'll start liking them. Amen. All right. Oh, come all ye faithful. Page 145. All three verses. Sing it out. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I've already forgot how to sing something. Oh, come. Okay, there we go. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Verse number one, here we go. Oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant.
seated. Brother Dave's going to come and talk to us about our offering. Amen. Welcome to our special night tonight with our kids. I know it's going to be a, a fun time. It's something new we're try, trying tonight with Pastor Mitchell being at home and Pastor will talk about that in a little bit. But I was talking to Pastor Gonzalez just a little bit ago before the evening service and he reported that they had two people saved in Spanish church today. Amen. So praise God for that. Isn't that wonderful? Praise God for that. Being saved around Christmas time and everything and we're so thankful for the ministry that our um, our pastor um, Gonzalez does with Emma there. So let's pray for offering. Heavenly Father, we just thank you again for this wonderful night you've given to us. We thank you, Lord, for the time that we can be here. Lord, I just thank you, Lord, that um, we can celebrate the birth of Christ. We look forward to uh, the special service tonight with the kids and Pastor Mitchell. We thank you for the singing that we've had. But Lord, we want to thank you for um, blessing our church. We just pray, Lord, you continue to um, burden our people to give, that we might present the gospel around the world, that people might be saved. And we thank you for it. Christ in Christ's precious name. Amen. And tonight we've asked Miss Kaylee McWayne to play Away in a Manger for us. Well, it certainly is uh, an honor to have you with us tonight for the children's uh, uh, story time. I'm going to ask any uh, of our young people that are sixth grade and below to come on up that would like to participate and uh, come on up, have a seat. Sixth grade and below, come on up. Don't be shy. That's the, the seat to the girl, okay? Set you over here. Come on over here. Sit, sit, sit over here. Buddy Elena, you can sit over here.
there's Pastor Mitchell. We uh, asked Pastor Mitchell, uh, when, when I came here 26, 27 years ago, this was a, was, was a staple for the church. The, my kids had, had come up here and, and had story time with Pastor, and now my grandkids are coming up here. And when he retired three years ago, I said, as long as you're able, I want you to continue to do this. And uh, so he's going to be talking to us from at home, and I'm just going to be holding the mic. So the rest of the time is yours, Pastor. Pastor Mitchell, we uh, asked Pastor Mitchell, uh, when, when I came here 26, 27 years ago, this was a, was, was a staple for the church. The, my kids had, had come up here and, and had story time with Pastor, and now my grandkids are coming up here. And when he retired three years ago, I said, as long as you're able, I want you to continue to do this. And uh, so he's going to be talking to us from at home, and I'm just going to be holding the mic. So the rest of the time is yours, Pastor. Good evening, boys and girls. I'm excited that I get to be with you tonight. I didn't know that that was going to happen. All right. Well, there's Pastor Mitchell. We uh, asked Pastor Mitchell, uh, when, when I came here 26, 27 years ago, this was, uh, was, was a state for the church. Keep talking. Okay. Anyway, I, uh, I know that they have picked two of you to do some reading for me. And if, uh, as soon as uh, Pastor Salazar is ready, I'd like to have uh, the scripture read from Luke chapter 2. Good evening, boys and girls. I'm excited that I can be with you tonight. I didn't know that that was going to in those days that there were went out a decree from Caesar Augustus. Okay. <laughs> and it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria and all went to be taxed, everyone into the, his own city. And Joseph also went up in, from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. And because there was no room for them in the inn, and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night, and lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord, and this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child and all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds but mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart and the shepherds returned glorifying and praising god for the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them There's just a slight delay in that, sorry.
Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, now, there is a little bit of delay here, so I'll have to get used to that, and so will you. But uh, in just a couple of minutes, I'm going to start asking some questions, and Pastor's going to get a microphone to you. And when you answer the question, please tell me your name first. I appreciate that so I can know who you are. So I, I'm going to hold off here until he gets the microphone uh, ready to go, until this is ready. First question I have is there any student here that mom and dad said don't say this? Did mom tell our dad tell you not to say something? Did anybody say that? Did your parents tell you not to say something? Here, here. Okay, that's all right. Yes, sir. Merry Christmas. <laughs> no, every, no, nobody had that, Pastor. did she say? I couldn't hear that. She didn't say anything. She didn't know what to say. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. No, no, nobody had that message. All right. All right. Then I have a question. We read the, East, uh, the Christmas story and it told some things in there. Uh, it talked about uh, some shepherds. Can anybody tell me what a shepherd is? your name and tell us what a shepherd is. Peyton, a shepherd is someone who watches over sheep. Do you know how they kept them at night when they watched over their flock by night? How did they keep the sheep? Anybody know how they kept the sheep while he watched over their flocks by night? Ava? They have a gate. They have a gate? Yeah, okay. Do you have something different? Do you know how they kept them by night? <laughs> yes. have a gate all right pastor as you answer these questions as the children answer the questions if you kind of repeat their answer okay. it would help me just a little bit but the way they kept their sheep was 
They had a pen or a cave that they kept them in. And probably in Bethlehem at that time, they were using a cave. And the shepherd would lay down in the door so that uh, an animal couldn't come get the sheep or a thief couldn't come get them. The shepherd watched over a sheep by night by laying in the door and taking care of them. Next question then, uh, it talked about angels. What is an angel and what does an angel do? Yes. What does an angel do? What? It's okay. Go ahead. An angel is somebody who protects you. An angel is somebody who protects you. Anybody have anything different? An angel is someone who brings news to you. An angel is somebody that brings news to you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. I don't know what she said. Okay, anybody else? Want to describe what an angel does? Okay. They told um, the shepherd that um, there's a newborn baby in the stable. They told the they told the uh, shepherds that there was a newborn baby in the stable, Pastor. Angel is somebody that brings news to you. An angel, then all of those things. Actually, an angel is a heavenly creature that is a messenger for God. And usually when an angel is seen, he brings a message from God. And this message was about something that was happening in Bethlehem. What was going on in Bethlehem that the angel wanted to talk about? Okay. Let me get Chase. You want to try this one? You want to try to answer this question? What was going on in Bethlehem that the angels came to tell them the news? Do you know? That there was a newborn king. That there was a newborn king. How about somebody over here? Do you know what, what was going on? Okay. No? Okay. Anybody else? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. Okay. All right. Well, other than thank you, the only answer is that there was a newborn king born in Bethlehem. Next question. They talked about baby Jesus being in a manger. What is a manger? Okay. What's a manger? Yes. Somewhere where animals eat out of. Okay. Somewhere where animals eat out of? Yes. Where the, where the newborn king was? Where the newborn king was? I was going to say what Anthony said. She's going to say what Anthony said. You have something different? It's where the hay is. It's where the hay is.
feeding trough for the little boy uh, for the uh, uh, animals to eat out of, and they put the baby Jesus in it. And it, this one was probably made out of stone. It was probably not the wood like you see major scenes. It was carved out of stone. That's what they had lots of in that area. So that's what a manger was, was like. And it said they wrapped the baby Jesus in swaddling clothes. Does anybody know what swaddling clothes are? Okay, swaddling clothes, okay. Some kind of wrapping. Okay, yes ma'am. Okay, Avon? It's like a blanket. Like a blanket. And what did you say? A kind of wrapping, Pastor. Baby. When they found the baby Jesus, and then it says the shepherds left, were they happy or were they sad? Okay. Were the shepherds happy or sad when they left after seeing baby Jesus? Happy. Okay. Happy. 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 <laughs> happy. Happy birthday. Happy. All right. They all said they were happy. Ha happy. Happy. So are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. All right. All right. So they were happy. All right. I'll get you guys next time. The Bible also talks about a star uh, that guided some men to where the baby Jesus was. Uh, what were the men that came to see the baby Jesus? <laughs> what were the men that came to see the baby Jesus that followed the star? Shepherds. <clears throat> Shepherds? The three kings. Three kings? Wise men. Wise men? What for? Waffles? Reference. reference. Oh, what'd you say? Go ahead, say it again. Reference. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have wise men, kings, and I don't know. Wise men? All right. When they came and found the baby Jesus, he was no longer in the manger. He was now in a house when they found him, but they brought him gifts. What gifts did they bring? Okay. What gifts did they bring? Anthony? Gold. Okay. What else? Toy. Toys? Okay. Shepherds. Shepherds? Okay. They brought silver. Silver? Okay. Gold and frankincense. Okay, is there something else? Um. And myrrh. Gold, frankincense, myrrh, toys, and uh, I can't remember. What, what gifts did they bring? Oh, silver. Gold. Gold. How many silver. of you have a Christmas tree at your house? How many of you guys have a Christmas tree at your house? Okay, they all have their hand up, Pastor. Okay, put your hands down. Gold and frankincense. Okay, something else? Gold, frankincense, What Earth. color is the Toys. Christmas tree that you have at your house? Okay. What color is the Christmas tree you have at your house? Green. 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 We have a bunch of Christmas trees. White and several are white and several are green. Okay. Rainbow. Green. 
that it has life on past. Now, that represents the Lord Jesus who gives us everlasting life. probably have lights on your tree. Why do you think we have light? I think it's because Jesus is the light of the world and he brings light and hope to everybody else. Don't you? Do you, do you believe that, that you have light on your tree So because it represents the light that Jesus brings to everyone? What do you say, yes or no? Sure. Yes. 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 Sure. Yes. 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 You probably have some ornaments that are decorations on that tree. But why do you think they put those on there? And do you know why they put ornaments on the tree? To celebrate um, the Christmas. Celebrate Christmas? Okay, let me get him. It's Scooby Doo. It's Scooby Doo? Yeah. To um, represent the gifts that the three kings gave them. To represent the gifts that the three kings gave? You see a Christmas tree behind me. Yeah. What is that Christmas tree shaped like? What is a Christmas tree shape like that's sitting behind Pastor? Chase? A triangle like? A triangle like? The decorations, I triangle. forgot to tell you, they should represent the fact that Jesus is the one who was altogether lovely to and came for us. shaped like a triangle or points uh, got a point at the top which points us to heaven where Jesus is and where he wants us to go A star or an angel probably on the top of your tree. What do they represent? Why do we have a star or an angel on top of our Christmas tree? Okay. When um, Jesus was born, there was a um, star on top of the stable. Okay. Because um, it showed the way where the shepherd had it to go. When Jesus was born, there was a star at the stable, and that uh, star showed the ship, or the uh, wise men where to go. Star. Star. Well, the star, as, as you already know, is represents the star that guided the wise men to Jesus. The angel represents the uh, the angels that uh, told the shepherds where the baby Jesus was. Someone come, and I want you 
boys and girls to sing a Christmas song for me before we close, and then they can appoint someone to have a closing prayer. But uh, as we do that, I just want you to remember what Christmas is about. It's really about Jesus coming to be our Savior and dying on the cross for us. So this year, before you open any Christmas present, will you ask your mommy and daddy to read the Christmas story first because it's about Jesus, isn't it? Pastor, you go ahead if you get somebody to lead them in a song okay. and then have a closing prayer. Thank you very much for allowing me to be part of this. I know this was a little awkward, but it was so nice to see you boys and girls. Thank you for your help. All right, boys and girls, stand up. And let's spread out just a little bit, okay? Let's spread out just a little bit, okay? You come up down here on the, on the, on the, um, on the what are these things called? Steps, stairs. We're going to do a way in a manger, and we're going to see if you guys can do the, there's motions to it, remember? Who knows the motions to a way in a manger? Okay. You guys ready? Who's going to start us out? Ready? Is there anybody who'd like to dismiss us in a word of prayer? Anybody? You want to do it, Chase? No? Okay. You want to do it, Anthony? No, she already she already did it. Okay. Go ahead. Let's pray. I mean, Father, thank you for this. Okay. All right. <laughs> let's let's pray together. Father. We thank you, Lord, for the time that these boys and girls could be here. We just pray, Lord, that you would just bless the rest of our evening. For we ask this in your precious name. Amen. Please stay seated. Go ahead and stay seated right here. And uh, we have uh, some ladies that are going to give you guys a gift. And once you get your gift, go ahead and have a seat. Take, take it to your dad. There you go. Go sit down with mommy now. Lily. Lily here. Sir, Sir, Selena and Karina. Okay, who's who? Karina. Selena. Donna. Antoinella. Here, come on down here. Let me 
heavy hand. Woo! All right, Sarah's got it. Aaliyah, there you go. We're done. We're all done. What? No, no, we'll get it. We'll get it. All right, well, thank you very much for being with us tonight. And uh, this is something we're trying. Pastor is usually here to do this. Sorry about the delay and, uh, uh, and all that, but we tried our best to, to work it out the best that we could. We certainly want to invite you back Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. We will have a candlelight service and uh, here at 7 o'clock on Wednesday night. Let's stand together. And I'm going to ask Brother Joel if he would come up. He's a pastor in Tampa, Florida, and uh, uh, preached this morning in our Spanish church and uh, uh, has become a good friend of us. He, he did take one of the best girls from our church, and, uh, and, uh, and we love her to death. And we love Brother Joel. Come on over here, and I'll have him dismiss us in a word of prayer. If you want to say anything about your church, please do. So kind. Thank you. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much that uh, you bless us with such wonderful times here at church. Continue to bless our children. And God, may you be the center and the focus of our attention during this Christmas season. Uh, continue to bless this church, the great work you're doing here. Thank you for our pastor. Continue to give him health, bless his family, and bless the church family all together. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.